Uh, no, there's uh, nothing left at all. Um, this precious couple. Okay, anyway, they, they just got, got married in their two house. Two interior walls and the closet that she uh, was able to crouch down in, and uh, that's really it. Um, the roof, uh, everything inside uh, got is gone now. One uh, week guys, before. Guys, I have to ask um, just what that's like. You're starting. But now they have each you, other to help each other through this. Years. Let's see what happened to me. Yeah. All by myself. Um, this is going to be a pretty big one pretty early on in your marriage. Angela, what is, I guess, just your reaction and your thoughts to having okay. this happen? Again, if I had murdered my daughter. After getting married. <laughs> I wouldn't have anything. Well, you know, you're with me. My simple rape crisis pregnancy. You know, I, I never even admitted that, but it was. It was simple rape. I, I didn't consent. I didn't consent. And I said, get out. So she was practically a miracle, but you know, you know. And you know, I, I, everybody's looking at me like I'm an idiot. I was not enticing, nor did I consent. And, um, but anyway. Oh, y'all, y'all ruined that. But that's all right. Because I had an altar call, a bar mitzvah, a fast mitzvah, whatever. She's a girl. <laughs> I saw her come out of the womb. <laughs> you know how when baby girls come out of the womb? My goodness. They got giant heads and giant <laughs> It's unmistakable. So it's like a cone, you know, I mean, I taught her and all that stuff, and she had had a consensual baptism and all that stuff, and again, she spoke in tongues when she was four, but, you know, I don't know, you know, if, it, if the Holy Spirit's not bubbling that back up, and even though we were a tongue-talking church, neither her mother nor her stepfather required. But she went to many altar calls, um, to not bitter and to remember her past and the Lord did a lot of healing for her that's another thing I retain your sins in 